Hello everyone, welcome back. I've just done the hair and it's still full of body, enjoying it. It's very soft actually. I'm using the Look Fabulous Forever shampoo. I'm just using the shampoo on its own. But it's coming out so soft, I don't know if it's the hair dryer that's helping that along. Maybe. But anyway, there's no face on as of yet because I've got a whole uh, lot of new makeup that I wanted to share with you today. Um, a couple of pieces of replacements that I've used before and I just thought I'd start off like that. I've also got an unboxing so I'm going to do that after this. I've got some things that I want to share with you that I think are beautiful and I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the week actually so we'll just I just film it as it comes um I've had a royal cold this week and I should have filmed a clothing haul by now I've got my new in haul I've got my new in haul to film um I've got an H&M haul to film and I've got a Roman film to film so be warned there's a lot of fashion coming up a lot and then it will peter out after that, I guess. So, yeah, there's a lot to come. I have a lot to do and I have a cold. You might be able to hear it. I'm going to try not to cough. <laughs> cough every two minutes because that's what I've been doing. Anyway, let's crack on. Let me show you what I've got. Um, let's start off with a foundation first because then I will feel better. Wonder Cosmetics. Now, I've not shared this enough with you. It's not a product that I wear every day, although you could, obviously. It's not quite enough coverage for me, you know, when I'm taking photos or filming. But this powder, um, I worked with this brand uh, a year or so ago, I think, and I've literally worn the powder out. This is a foundation, a powder foundation, and it's brilliant. Even my daughter bought it. Excuse the mirror. But yeah, look, that's what I've got left of it. And this is one of those foundations that I think would be great to keep in your handbag if you're going on a day out for just a touch up of cover. I think it's what I use it for mostly is if I've lounged around the house like I do way too long into the day and I think oh I've got to shoot out I've got to go to the shop or I've got to go this stuff you just throw this on with a brush I've got their brushes here this is the brush and you've most probably seen in any of my makeup vlogs this is the one that I use pretty much all the time now you can buy them on Amazon they, by the same brand, um, but for the price, they are amazing brushes. You can actually see I've got some foundation, most probably built up in there. I've not washed it, but that's what I use it for, for that. So it was running out and I asked the PR to send me a new one because I like it that much. So yeah, I've got a new one. So this is Wonder Go Beyond Foundation and mine is medium. And before I did anything, I wanted to just show you on half of my face what this Wonder looks like. So a good swish around on the brush. And it just gives you a nice bit of color and coverage It's quite light, but it will hide some imperfections. And there you go. I, I think it's brilliant stuff. My daughter wears it all the time because she doesn't like a lot of cu cover. You know, if you want something light, this is the thing. I, and it's not expensive at all either. So, yeah, that was the first thing that I wanted to share with you. They've also sent me a... Um, 
mascara so i'm going to try that as well i've had a few of their bits and pieces that i really like and i noticed this was different it's got a really weird shaped brush so it's got the it's it's really thin here and then it gets fat it's long and then you've got that bulby bit on the bottom so i'm looking forward to trying that yeah so i'll leave the link they're they're all on amazon so but it is a nice powder i don't know if you can see that it's yeah you can you can see the color it's good stuff the other thing that i got was um some new Trini London. Let me get my BFF. Yeah, so I thought I'd just do half the face because you don't often get to see what the Trini London is like on its own. So we're going for a light makeup today if you like. But I always mix this with my foundation. And this will change colour as you put it on and it gives a nice warm colour and it's, it's like putting moisturiser on but it feels lovely so yeah so that's the Trini London on its own now like I say I mix mine with foundation I like mine to be a more fuller makeup but you can get away with just wearing that on its own uh, some new items from Trini here They've sent me the BFF Serum. This is an under eye serum concealer. So I thought this would be interesting. I love when they send their makeup. You always get on these makeup bags. And what else have I got? She's Trini's just launched brushes. And they're jazzy, aren't they? Really jazzy. So yeah, actually, that is a foundation brush, so Trini would have said to rub that in slightly after. I think with the BFF, you don't need any brushes. Just put it on like a cream. You're not going to get any tide marks or anything. Um, so I think I've got a couple of brushes. What's this one? This is the tea brush. I love that it's all yellow, like the rest of Trini's packaging. Now that could be good for doing an all over eye, blending in concealer, blush. I think that's what she's done these brushes for, you know, because of the cream. She uses the cream concealers and you can just, just blend that in a little bit more, you know. Nice. Nice, please with them. What's this one? Oh, an eye contour brush. Oh, that's lovely. That's very similar to the Beauty Pie one with the beveled edge. So you've got that slant. So yeah, that's going to be great for concealer. It's a much tufted, thicker brush. It doesn't move about so much, so that's good for precision. So yeah, we've got three new brushes. I'm pleased with them. Uh, what else did we get? The BFF Eye Concealer, Under Eye Concealer. And this is more like a serum as well, apparently. So there you go, there's the tube. And you've got the metal, so it's nice and cold under there. Let's get a mirror. So just a little tap. I've never used it, so I don't know what it's going to come out like. I know this has got caffeine in it. Get rid of puffiness, so it's very wet. It's very wet. Let's keep that clean. And I'm going to pat that in with this new brush. That gets rid of any of them dark 
My eyes are darker on the top than they are underneath, I think. And in these corners, that's where I seem to have my problems. Feels lovely on, it's cooling, quite cooling. Don't know if you can see a difference there. And excuse me with these sniffles. Yeah, feels nice, they look bright. We'll see how we get on, quite like that. This, that will work well with the BFF. Yeah, pleased. Um, I'm gonna put some my regular eyeshadow on, even though I've got half a face of BFF and half a face of Wonder. But I love that Wonder Foundation, it's great. So I'm just going in with my regular eyeshadow that I use pretty much every day. You're most probably bored rotten with this eye colour. But I'm not a big makeup wearer. I just like it to be as natural as possible actually. I've just ordered um, a new eyeshadow stick from Beauty Pie. I've got a new Beauty Pie box coming. And I'm hoping it's going to be the replacement for that. We will see. Because when I, when I go out and look in the shops at makeup, I, I always just want to find the one that's closest to this and they're very hard to find believe it or not don't know why anyway right eyebrows now there's a new brand bay brow new to me anyway and i've got a few pieces from them this is brow wax so this is going to be interesting and this keeps your brows in place. Oh, it's clear. It's clear in the tin. Oh. Doesn't smell of anything. It's quite sticky. So this is going to be interesting, ladies. Um, what else did they send? I think this might be an applicator. Yeah, it is. So this is what we put it on with. Come out. Oh, it's wrapped up, that's why. Oh, that's quite nice. So you've got a shaper this end and a brush this end. This is the one that I'll use for the wax. And this is the one that I'll use my powder with. So let's have a go on that. I'm gonna use my normal powder from Joan Collins. And I don't really do a lot, but what I do, I go at the top. So rather than painting your eyebrows there, I do mine right on the top of the hairline. That's where I give my definition because it just lifts the eye a little bit more for me. Yeah, nice. It's a nice brush, I like that. So along the top there and down and now we're going to use the wax so I'm just going to roll that in here gently because it's, it's actually getting covered Oh yeah, yeah that keep them smart. So if you've got unruly eyebrows, this will definitely keep them in shape. I can feel it. <laughs> mm, I like that. really giving them a lift as well hasn't it that's good 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 stuff I'm pleased with that they also sent me um, 
uh, a, an eyebrow serum and a conditioner apparently yeah so this is brow conditioner so I'll be using these and I'll let you know how I get on oh and that's got a spoolie brush on it which is really good because you know what I've got a few eyebrow serums and they don't they're just like an eyeliner brush I find them hard to apply what's this one what the brow eyebrow serum yeah so one's a serum and one's a conditioner so you so I wanted to let you know what I thought of all the things that I've been using this last it's got to be a month a couple of months that's normally what I do when uh, I'm reviewing something I will always use it for about a month first so you have to stop all the other skincare that you're using try the new thing a bit like being a guinea pig really and then obviously I'll share with you uh, what I think so I'm going to give you the results of what I've been using and I'm going to be showing you soon the new skincare routine that I'm going to be using for the next month or so so that will be interesting all new things anything anti-aging is good for me right anyway let's carry on I need to do my eyeliner and then I will put on the new mascara so this is the same as what I've used on the eyebrows you've all seen this so many times before if you're a regular it's just what I use it works and that's the Joan Collins Timeless Beauty eye palette so that's that Now let's have a go on the um, mascara. I'm quite excited about trying this one. So this is the Wonder mascara. Get the magnifier on. Now that thin end is really good for the tiny eyelashes at the end there. And this in the magnifying glass looks just like a little ball, which is really different. That's just one coat, so you can see it. One more go. Let's do the other eye. So you can really see it. Let's do this eye. And once again, I don't know if this has got fibres in it, I'll have to read up and let you know, but my eyelashes are certainly starting to look longer. As you know, I barely have eyebrow eyelashes, so anything like that is going to work. Me. Yeah. Oh, I 
can see them. I'm impressed with that. Very impressed. Right. Another new thing. Benefit got in touch and they've sent me their hula bronzer. What colour did I get? I think it's I don't think it's one colour, their hula. Yeah, it just says benefit hula. Now I've not ever tried this before. I know my daughter loves it. So I'm just trying to get the sticker off. That's it. Oh, it's got a little mirror in there that's cute so there it is the bronzer now I can see already that that's matte and that is what I prefer something matte I think matte bronzers are so much more forgiving let's have a little go oh that's nice not too heavy either quite natural It looks very bronzy in this camera, but trust me, it's not. You'll, you'll see in a minute when I do the unboxing anyway. Yeah, I like it. Some lips. I'm going to do something really simple. What I'm really liking at the moment is the uh, Code 8. Hang on, I'll just get that. I've been using this quite some time now. This is the Lip Glaze. And I think it's in the shade, I've used it on here before on the channel and I have. I will let you know. If all the details will be down below. But yeah, so th this is what I've been using. Very, very natural. So this is like a nude pencil. And you can literally go o go over the top of your lip line slightly. It's barely visible, literally barely visible, but it will just give you that definition, if that makes sense. I'm just going to go over it with lip glaze. I've got a feeling this is pistachio, this one. This is like a conditioning glaze. It feels lovely on and it, it lasts as well because this is nearly all gone. I use it a lot. Very natural looking. That's all I wanted. Just something a little bit natural. That's it. That's all the new stuff. So, hope you enjoyed that. I still look orange in this camera, but it is not orange at all. You you will see in a minute. So, I'm going to set up now and we'll do this unboxing. Right. I thought before we go any further, I would... <laughs> show you what I'm wearing today and this is the linen jumpsuit from Balkian uh, I featured it in the new in hole and trust me this didn't I think I've only worn it twice and I absolutely love it what I did I've put a long sleeved tee from oh Bo please I hope you didn't hear that um, I've put a long sleeve tee underneath and we're at nearly 18 degrees here still so if I go out the door I'll be putting heels on but at the moment I've got the Vivea, um, the blue flats, um, these are, they're just like wearing slippers around the house, I absolutely love those, they're going to be worn a lot. 
I think navy is going to feature a lot for me this this winter. I so prefer it over black, definitely. Yeah, so I'm looking for more navy pieces. And what other colours? I think browns are very in at the moment. Yeah. You know, I sit there sometimes and I think, what colours are you going to go for this year? I just wait and see what I like. And then I choose it. I'm not all oh, turquoise is in fashion this year so I've got to have turquoise I'll just go with the flow what I think is lovely and I'll choose it Bowden's got a beautiful navy dress at the moment I'm going to stick a picture up there let me know what you think ladies should I buy it or not because I've seen it on a couple of people and every time I've seen it I've thought Oh, that's gorgeous. I want that dress. I think I'm going to have to get it. I was holding out for the autograph one. But this navy dress is just calling me. <laughs> Terrible. Yes, so that's it. This is what I'm wearing today. The Balkin jumpsuit. I think it's on sale now. But it's very, very comfortable. Just weird to still be wearing linen in October though. I will say. Anyway, I'm going to set up now and we'll do the unboxing. Right, here we are with the unboxing. I'm going to do this and then I'm taking the rest of the day off. I hope the nose doesn't start running while I'm filming this. Because every now and again it just turns on like a tap. And then I'm coughing. Oh, I could really do without a cold at this moment. I feel absolutely exhausted just by even putting that makeup on. Um, anyway, but I wanted to share these new items with you. And the first one is, look at this lovely box. Let's open it. I can smell it from here. Forever roses. I've never had them before. How pretty are they? They've sent white. I, they asked me what I wanted and I think I said pink. I don't know how this works. So apparently these roses will last for a year. They smell beautiful. Have you ever had any of these forever roses? I just thought that's so lovely to go on the desk or on the table over there. How beautiful are they? I know you can get big tall boxes, I only wanted a little one, but this is going to scent the room as well, really really beautiful, and they're actually real, they don't really look real, but they are, you can feel that they're real, how does it work, perhaps they use a special stuff, they must do, a special solution does anyone know but anyway I know I've got a discount code for forever roses they come in all different colors uh, so go and take a look I think that's really pretty do you stick yeah I'll stick the lid like that so they're gonna look like that really really pleased with them they said they'd seen, uh, watched the content and how much I like flowers. These moaning that the garden's like a jungle and now the house is turning into a jungle. Actually, last week, um, I arranged some of the, um, I arranged some of the Alstroemeras and they've opened up. So before I go off today, I'm going to take you downstairs and show you how they've opened up. And then I'm taking the rest of the day off. And then we'll do skincare tonight if I'm not too rough. <laughs> <coughs> right, next one a toothbrush. Ultra clean electric toothbrush. Free replacement brush heads. 300 days of cleaning demand satisfied per charging well that sounds good to me um, and this 
doesn't work like a normal to oh look that's jazzy look at what you get inside and you that is really a good idea a travel pouch for your toothbrush so i like that straight away there's a charger in there as well now this is something about let me have a look let me see what this says Yeah, it's ultrasonic. So this cleans your teeth by vibration rather than rubbing. I've not used it. So we'll use this tonight as well and I'll show you what it's like. So you've got different, four different brush heads in there as well. I wonder if they're different. We'll go for a grey and white one. And if this stays charged as long as it says, I don't know, I've got, what have I got? I've got an electric toothbrush, it's just a normal type. But I have to charge it at least once a week now. And I think I've had it just over a year. But it costs quite a lot of money. And I, I expect more charge out of my toothbrushes. <laughs> So there you go. Oh wow. It's, uh, can you hear that? Ah, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's vibrating, you know, like similar to, let's turn that off. You know, like the dentist does the scrapey thing. It's a similar sound to that and the vibration is very similar as well. Oh, I look forward to using that. It's gonna be different, isn't it? Dee's gonna want one of these, I know she will. <laughs> that in there. I'll have to have a look at the brushes because I think different colours might mean different things but this is by cheese cheese uh so i'll leave the link down below and you can take a look and see what cheese is all about very impressed with that looking forward to using it um what else have i got prey have just sent me some new creams now i I tried this when it came and I think this is absolutely amazing. I often use uh, Prey, the neck treatment and chest treatment. It's, Prey is a good brand. But this is their Menaglow range. It's uh, been formulated specially for women in the menopause. Well, I, I, I'm been done. I don't even get hot flushes anymore. So, but I, you know, they've asked, they've asked me to uh, share this with you. What does that say? Yeah, this is sold at Marks and Spencers as well. So this is their Menaglow range. They've sent me Collagen Boosting Cream Gel Moisturiser. Now, I love a little bit of extra collagen. I've not tried any of Prey's face creams before. But I do... Oh, oh, that looks different. It's blue. It's like a blue, blue gel inside. It doesn't really smell too much. I hate anything that smells too much, unless it's got lemon. So that will be good. We all need our extra collagen, don't we, in our later years, definitely. And this is... Super Hydrating Sleep Cream. Let's see what this 
this is like. Doesn't smell. I'm going to have to have a little trial of these ladies and I'll let you know. I can always tell the next morning whether our cream's good or not. No, that doesn't smell that's good. It feels nice. Yeah, so there's obviously lots of ingredients in these creams that you lack in when you're in the menopause. But this was the one that I really liked because I've already tried it. This is Hot Flush Cool Fix Serum. And you take this off and you've got the, it's like a roller. I mean, that, that feels nice on its own. I will be using this. If we have that hot weather like we did last year, that feels lovely. Um, and you twist it and apparently you'll get a gel and it's like ice cold there you go so it doesn't it doesn't squirt out it just goes on the roller but oh my god that is gonna be that is just lovely if i was having a hot flush because i remember them well this would be lovely i think that is great if you're having a hot flush you'll have to trust me on what it feels like it feels great i think anyone with hot flushes would appreciate this yeah very pleased with that can't report on the creams because i've not tried them yet and the lastly a beautiful box of jewellery from Huge Tomato. Now this box arrived. Oh, look, it's a red velvet box. Unfortunately, it's a little bit dented. But still nice, all the same. And look at these goodies in here. What they've sent me. There's just so much. You know, I'm a lover of pearls. And there are some beautiful items in here. So these are the first ones. Look, these pearl, pearl hoops. I think they are stunning. Let's put them in. They are so smart and classic. I love them. Really, really lovely. I will be wearing these a lot. They're just that not too over the top pearl. Really, you can't go wrong with pearls. I think pearls with your hair tied up and a, and a high neck jumper is beautiful in the winter. Yep, I look forward to wearing them. And I've got in here, <laughs> look, these are the Monica Veneda and these are the Huge Tomato. They're so similar. I can't hold it. Oh, look, I've got one in. They're lovely. The Monica Veneda ones are more like, um, They've got a texture on the gold, but these are smooth. And I know for a fact that these are a lot cheaper than the Monica Veneda ones. So there's the huge tomato ones. What weird name? Weird name for a brand. So there's the huge tomato ones and there's the Monica Veneda ones. Um, these are 18. I don't know what these these new ones are but these are 18 and uh, so if you like them and you want a cheaper pair to try go for these 
very nice a great everyday classic pair of earrings very good what else have we got oh we've got some we've got some statement earrings here I actually chose these and I just thought they were so boho these would look great with the cream knit I think what do you think these are more for evening I've got to say but they are different I love how unusual they are really lovely let me just give you a closer look so you've got gold and pearl on these they actually hang that way really really pretty they're not heavy either you'd think they'd be heavy with so much on but they're not you can hear them jangling a little bit but I will be wearing them out with a cream blazer and a jumper and you will look marvellous yeah I really like them um, what else have we got last two pieces and then I'm going down for a cup of tea now this is actually their men's selection but this caught my eye I can't imagine a man wearing this, it's very... A little bit brash for a man, I can't imagine a man wearing it. Maybe I'm just getting too old. But I loved this clasp here. And I thought how great that would look, you can just wear that. Let's put it on. So you can just wear this, you can wear it different ways can't you, you can wear it half and half, you could wear it all gold or you could wear it all pearl. So, there's the half and half but I like this, I think this would look nice over a roll neck jumper or you could just have gold let's just tuck that in there it's not really the perfect idea is it with a with a t-shirt so i thought that was nice so you just got the gold and the class or you've got the pearls they're quite heavy though they are quite heavy and i like that just that little bit of gold coming through there yeah I love it. I don't know if I've got a discount code, but if there is one, I will leave it linked below. I have to go through all my emails and see what they've said. I think out of all of this, though, these are just, they're absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased with them. And there's a bracelet that came with that necklace as well, but I don't know if it's going to fit me. No, it's way too big. I would have to have that altered. Yeah. I'd have to have that trimmed. But yeah, it's quite nice. You've got the same catch as well, so it's quite bulky for me. But I love the necklace. Yeah, so that's it. And my nose didn't run once. How about that? So I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now. I'm going to put my feet up and watch some TV. And I'll see you tonight when I'm taking Trini London off this side and Wonder this side. I don't know if it's that noticeable, but I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, you've got two different makeups on. <laughs> it's weird. I'll see you in a bit. Right, just before I sit down to the much needed cup of tea, here are the Alstroemeras. And look how beautiful they turned out. So they look nothing in the bars. I mean, they're literally, they're not even fully open yet. Um, these are a good five days old already. And I guarantee they will keep going 
for at least another week or so. So three pound for that bouquet. Right, I'm going to have my cup of tea. I'll see you later. Right, I've been promising an update on skincare, nighttime routine. Um, the last part of the film, that was a few days ago now. I have had the worst cold ever. And I, I just had to take some time out. Look, the hair's not... <laughs> The hair's not even done properly. Um, hopefully I won't cough too much all the way through this. But I'm going to clip my hair up and go through some of the stuff that I'm using at the moment. Um, let's start off with taking the eye makeup off with my Pure and Simple Eye Makeup Remover. This, I've used it for years, years and years. I've got fancy eye makeup removers and they just don't work as well as this one does and I never get any irritation. I'm going to look awful by the time I've taken this makeup off because I know at the moment I look awful. There you go, that's that done. Yeah, a little bit on the bottom there still. These cloths, by the way, are amazing. I, I buy these in uh, Tesco's. Actually, I'll have a little rub of the eyebrows. Have been out shopping today. It's the first time I've been out. It's the first time today that I've thought, yeah, I could do that film today because it's just been the worst cold ever and I don't normally suffer badly with colds I've been hot I've had temperatures um, I tested for the coronavirus and I've done two and they said negative but to me it felt just like I had the virus again so if not worse actually than last time um, I'm still using the Trini London I'm going to use this as a, a pre-cleanse the gel and then I'm going to use another cleanser after that I really like that I wanted to share with you but I've still carried on with this Trini London it's been lovely really really pleased with it and I think it must be coming to the end now because I've used it every day but I've got so much new skincare to share with you I just wanted to finish up with what I'm using and give you some updates and then I can start using all the new bits and share those with you. Excuse the noise of the tap. And it's just about light outside. I, I try and take my makeup off early if I can, early as possible in the day. But if I have to turn on my light, it's got a humidity fan so it all comes on together so that would be a real pain. Now this Trini London you massage it in and then add a little bit of water and that's it it turns to milk it's been a fantastic cleanser my skin has been really good actually since using this and normally I would double cleanse with that But I wanted, I wanted to share with you today about the um, ARC skincare because it's a skincare brand that I've used, it's got to be coming up five years now. And when they offer me replacements, I always say yes because it's good stuff. Um, this is the Age Defy Brightening Cleanser. It's got vitamin C in it as well. Formulated for your 50s onwards. And what I would say about this is anyone that's sensitive, it's a real gentle cleanser, I would say. They, they do a pre-cleanse as well, Arc. It's like an oil, and I've used that on, on here before as well 
and that's really good and so I would normally use their pre-cleanse and then following with this but I'm still using the Trini London so I was happy to use that today so it's just like a milky cleanser and it feels lovely on there's only a slight scent to it there's no way I'm going to be able to read those ingredients do you but it feels absolutely lovely and they do um, kits Arkle do kits so they'll do a kit for the 20 year old the 30 year old the 40 year old and the 50 year old and I think they do a special kit for sensitivity but I would I'm very sensitive that is great stuff yeah so I am nice and clean now and not looking very pretty on my end ah right the toothbrush I'm going to share with you in a minute that has been interesting the last few days um I'm still using my micro needle from Banish I've started using it more here I'm getting really big pores so I use this a couple of times a week you just stick it on and a little twist it's been absolutely brilliant I don't know if you see the film where I had the scarring on my chin and it really helped with that really helped so this is good for anti-aging any micro needling it will help your serums get deeper into the skin this is a really gentle one as well and I just find it's helping I'm really trying to fight these larger pores and I'm hoping that that's going to keep it at bay now I'll stick that in surgical spirit now you've got a little cup there that will twist on and it will go in the surgical spirit so yeah I can feel that little tiny tingle but it, it's not harsh it's not a harsh micro needle it's quite gentle but I feel that it helps so if you've got any scarring acne um, you want your serums to go in deeper this banish tool is brilliant I don't know if I've still got a discount code for that but I will find out um, and then I was doing my teeth right now let's get the toothpaste now what can I say about this toothbrush it feels really strange it doesn't go round or scrub your teeth up and down it's like being at the dentist and it vibrates on your teeth so it's like a semi-sonic vibration apparently I'll turn it on that's the first one that's the second one that's the third one um I've not had to recharge it yet I've been using it it's got to be nearly a week since I last filmed the unboxing of this and I've been using it since so yeah it's totally different to any other toothbrush I've used though but yeah I do like it um I have found that if you press too hard it doesn't work properly so you do have to just go along with the vibration and be really gentle so that's that yeah it feels really strange you know like when you go and have your teeth cleaned it's like a vibration just like um, when they're cleaning your teeth at the dentist. Can you hear Bo? She's playing up. I'm making my bed because I left the door open. Ah, naughty girl, naughty girl. Are you being naughty? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. 
eight hour cream on the lips every morning and every night without fail i've used this for over 20 years and i'll just go above the lip line i swear it's helped keep the lip lines at, lip lines at bay and i never ever get dry lips and it's, it's just the best i will not be without that product right next now i would normally use a retinol um the only night i don't use a retinol is when i use my micro needle at the moment i'm using this the uh super retinol by beauty path just started using it and it's powerful this is a powerful one and i've got retinol for the eyes as well and i i am totally sold on beauty pie go and have a look at the subscription it's amazing um i'm really enjoying it i think price for what you get it's absolutely brilliant i'll leave the link in the box of the beauty pie i was very slow to the beauty pie party and now i'm totally hooked on it everything i've had i'm really enjoying i like this as well i won't be using it tonight the uh, hyaluronic acid that has been great i've been using that a week or so and next i'm going to go on with my mantle the dream mask now i spoke about this in my favorites haul this stuff is well you put this on and it's like a yellowy cream it smells of lemon you don't need a lot of it look i'm nearly halfway through the jar and your skin will feel better in the morning mark my words this is one of them creams that you put on and you get up in the morning and you think wow that has made a difference and trust me it does make a difference and i think what it is is it's got cbd in it it's the first cream i've used with cbd in. and if that is what cbd does i want more yeah i'm actually just going to start using the mantle serum as well i'm going to start using that in the mornings let's put some of that on the neck actually yeah this it's one of the few creams where i get up in the morning and i think wow that 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 cream does stuff you know when you get good results like that it makes all the difference so yes um i'll be talking more about beauty pie in the next couple of weeks because i've only just started using these it does feel powerful this retinol i will say that um and i've got some other bits like i said i'm trying the mantle in the mornings so i'll be doing a morning routine soon at some point with you all and i hope you've enjoyed the film i know it's a little bit different this time because i've had this cold i, I wanted to film the um changeover I'm just about to do the wardrobe changeover so that will be in an, another vlog because uh, I, j I just couldn't do it this week. I was so ill. Not been like that since I had the virus. Yeah, look that's sunken already, it's gone. It's like my skin just sucks it up with the straw. It's amazing stuff. I might even put some more on. Yes take a look at the mental brand it's brilliant anyway enough waffle i'll see you in the next one